in this tutorial we will learn about types of functions so in c programming there are primarily two types of function first one is library function and second one are user defined function so let us understand each one of them coming to library functions library functions are those functions which are already declared in c header file so for example whenever you include any header file like stdio.h or string.h those have some pre-built and predefined function and those have some specific tasks to perform so those cannot be changed for example if you consider printf function the job of printf is to display anything onto the console window or onto the screen similarly the job of scanf is to accept user inputs so every function has some predefined task which has been given to it and those are included in those header files. So these functions, the library functions are also called as built-in functions or predefined functions in the C header file whose meaning we cannot change. And whenever we use this pre-built function, we need to include the appropriate header file. For example, if I want to calculate length of the string, I use a function called strlen. So that is included in the header file string.h. So you need to include that header file. Otherwise the compilation error will come. And whenever we want to perform that specific task, you can call those functions directly. So there is no need to define any function definition or function prototype for library functions. Usually for user defined functions, you need to write prototype, then call and then function definition. But the main advantage of library function is you can call them directly. So examples are printf, scanf, gets, puts, strlen and strrev, string reverse, then strlwr, strupr, string lower and string upper. All those are examples of predefined function. The next category of function is user defined functions. So these are the functions which are created by the C programmer itself so that he or she can use it multiple times. So any large program is divided into small small sub programs and each one of them performs a specific task. And any user defined function is made up of three critical components which are function declaration or function prototype. Second one is function call and third one function definition. And for using user defined function, it is not always necessary to include all the header files. So whatever is relevant to that user defined function, only those are essential. And we need to define always the return type of the user defined function and what all input arguments it is going to take. So examples are like some area or display function. Those are like user defined function and you can write an return type and input argument for them. If there is no return value, you write it as void void. So let us look at differences between library function and user defined. So a function prototype whose are included in C library are known as library function. Whereas the function which is created by the user is called a user defined function. And second point is we don't need to write the complete code for library functions because already its definition and syntax are already included in the C compiler itself. But for the user defined function, you need to write the entire code along with definition, prototype and calling. And third thing is you can't modify the library function which has been defined in the compiler. So if printf job is to display anything onto the screen, you cannot change that task. But in user defined function, you can change the program very easily. And we need to use library function in every C program. Whereas user defined functions are not, not compulsory, they are optional. Based on application, you can write or don't write. It's It depends upon the wish of the programmer. And all the library functions have some predefined header files. 
For example, printf and scanf are available inside stdio.h and string copy and string comparison are available inside string.h. So all those header files have some predefined function. Whereas for using user defined function, we don't require any header file. And lastly, you can write the examples of uh, library functions and scanf. For uh, library function, you can write printf and scanf. For user defined, like multiply, sum, divide, are those examples of user defined function. So, hopefully, you understood the two types of functions which are user defined and library functions. So, in exam, they might ask you the differences between both of them. So, prepare some nice points regarding them. Thanks for watching.